Hey guys, just a reminder that the scavenger hunt is happening this week and make sure to keep checking out the Centennial Instagram page for more information and more clues. And have a great day. Just a reminder that all football players must register to get their COVID test soon. Have a great week, Hawks. This year's graduation ceremony will include three student speakers the senior class president, and two additional seniors selected from a speaker interview process. Interviews will be conducted on Zoom on May 4th, 5th, and 6th during afternoon support time. Each student will present a three to four minute speech and, an, and answer a few questions from the selection panel. Seniors interested in interviewing for a graduation speaker position should email Mr. Anderson at ganderson at currenthigh.org for more details. Hey Hawks, the Advanced Theater Department is having a fundraiser at Chipotle from 4 to 8, so make sure you go out and show your support. Also, tryouts for next year are coming up very soon. Make sure you turn in your videos by April 6th, and if you have any questions, feel free to email Ms. Hammonds at alicia underscore hammonds at currenthigh.org. Bye Hawks. Hey guys, so March is Women's History Month and the 2021 theme is a continuation of 2020s, which was valiant women of the vote refusing to be silenced. This theme recognizes the battle for women's suffrage, which was gained with the passage of the 19th Amendment in 1920. For almost 100 years, women had been fighting for the right to vote. They made speeches, signed petitions, staged demonstrations, and argued over and over again that women, like men, deserved all of the rights and responsibilities of citizenship. We celebrate Women's History Month to remind ourselves of the accomplishments of women throughout the year to our culture and society. From science to politics, it's a chance to reflect on the trailblazing women who lead the way for change. So happy National Women's Month and go give your mom a hug. Hey Hawks, happy St. Patrick's Day. Remember to a picture of yourself wearing your green and posting it on your Instagram story and tagging both Centennial Instagram and your class Instagram. The class with the most posts will win the class competition. May the best class win. Hey Hawks, happy St. Patrick's Day. Here's some fun St. Patrick's Day trivia. Starting with number one, St. Patrick's Day commemorates the blank of St. Patrick's. A, his birth, B, his death, C, his marriage, or D, his coronation. It's his death, so if you got that right, good job. And going on to number two, what did St. Patrick use shamrocks for? A, good luck, B, medicine, C, flavor, for his coffee, or D, to illustrate the Holy Trinity? D, to illustrate the Holy Trinity. Now on to number three, what is the shortest St. Patrick's Day parade? Is it A, 98 yards, B, 98 feet, C, 26 yards, or D, 26 feet? The answer is 26 yards. And number four, what is the scientific name for shamrock? Is it A, trifolium prions, B, trifolium dubium, C, trifolium petroleum, or D, all of these? And the answer is D, all of these. Thank you for participating. And have a great rest of your week. We'll see you later, Hawks. Hey Hawks, happy St. Patrick's Day. Here's a little fun fact for you. Although the Irish had been celebrating St. Patrick's Day for about 400 years beforehand, in 1601, the Vicar of Spain threw a St. Patrick's Day parade in what is now modern day Florida. And that was the beginning of the St. Patrick's Day parades that we see now all across the country in almost every major city. So we're green. Make your decision now. Happy St. Patrick's Day. I know I can speak for many people when I say that I'm a bit stressed and tired right now, but don't forget that little progresses each day add up to big results. Hey Hawks, happy St. Patrick's Day. I hope you have a good day and keep pushing hard until the end of the year. You got it. Hey Hawks, keep up the good work. You guys are doing great.